Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Ragnarok here with part number 16 of my med Medieval Kingdoms England campaign on Legendary Difficulty. Alright, so we're just wrapping things up for the most part. We are, uh, well, I mean, I say that, I mean, this is a few hours left in this bad boy. We're pushing towards Egypt. The Pope has called for a crusade, and we're pushing towards Egypt. So, uh, we hold pillars of Hercules here uh, tentatively I mean there's uh, we've been having a lot of rebellions but we've left a couple of garrison forces uh, in behind and we also have some cavalry our uh, let's force march you over to this province and to pick up maybe a couple more cavalry for this guy for the lights of absolution and uh, they're gonna join with the fist of the father these guys are gonna be supporting the main force over here actually when is what's going on here in Seville uh, the military order priority so it'll be three turns this guy will will be on the move before that's ready though maybe I'll transfer these cavalry over to this on. army yeah actually I think I will do that we'll travel we'll, we'll transfer these over to this army via the movement exploit aka shadow walking and then he he'll be on his way so we'll transfer those over next turn and then he uh paul here can pull back to seville and recruit some of the uh the the templar type units and maybe we'll pick up some archers for him i mean we'll try not to break the bank too much we've finally gotten a respectable income here we'll not try not to recruit too much but i i, I definitely want to bring Pretty, uh, pretty heavy duty force with us to uh, to Egypt. All right, so we've got the advan uh, the opportunity here to upgrade all of these guys. So we are gonna do it. Uh, it's gonna be burn up probably all of our cash here. Twelve hundred. That's not too bad. Um, what does the fletching do? Let's take a look. Another damage, armor, ammunition. Gives them two more ammunition, so that is definitely, definitely worth it. Be nice to get them up even further, but anyway, I'll have to do maybe. Hmm. Since the cavalry is going to be coming up here, let's wait. Let's wait to demolish this. Sorry this the workshop but we'll demolish everything else and just start sucking money out of this place <laughs> and then we're gonna raise it to the ground before we leave um and then oh i guess oh, they got i guess we'll have to head down here because our allies haven't been able to hold this territory by the looks of things so we'll head down here but we'll we'll bring the cav up here and upgrade the cab as well. Might as well. And you, sir, start moving over this way as well. A little bit of coin left over. I'm just wondering how we should spend it. Seville is at minus nine now. My wits and words are yours. At your command. It's okay. Um. I think maybe build in in here. Total sanitation is one. Should be okay for that. So let's build the inn there. We'll slow down the building in. Ah, son of a watch thirteen. Ugh. Food minus eleven difficult food. Minus thirty six uh I Karako and upgrade this. No food here. Let's uh, 
cancel this for now. We need food here. And I think we're gonna have to turn the taxes off here for now. Oh my god, that only helped. <laughs> Doesn't help very much at all. Doesn't help much at all. We hunger for battle. Sugar and spice. Sugar and spice. Oh, I think this we shouldn't have upgraded. Shouldn't have upgraded this right away. I mean, if we demolish it. I really don't want to demolish it. But wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. If we if we don't tax the province, then food shouldn't be an issue. And we should lose that minus 11 for food, I think. Theoretically. So we won't tax it and, and see what happens here. And then if not, we're gonna we're gonna have to send we're gonna have to send this bloke over there. How much movement do you have left? Let's just position a little bit. Position you there instead. And keep you in camp so we can keep your integrity up, but I do still want to recruit those two guys. Ugh. I mean the... the garrison? Should be able to handle a full stack rebellion, theoretically, but we're, we're gonna have to send somebody over there to help out. I mean, we could send these knights over, but I really do want to get them, just transfer them over, just keep them in this one army. I think that makes the most sense. And our crusaders are making their way down here. It'll be a little while. Oh man, that looks good. Good looking army there. Would like to have more artillery for them, but whatever. I am yours That'll be plenty. I mean, the uh, the prince's army here has plenty of artillery, so we'll be okay for that. I don't think there's anything else for us to do here this turn. Like I said, I don't really want to feel like managing all that diplomatic stuff at this point. And all of this. Guys, what governor? Let's maybe bump you up to there. Good. Joffrey is a statesman. Marshall. Okay, Marshall. Is this guy not even commanding or in office? Oh, we've got another. Let's put somebody in. Let's put him in Valencia. Joffrey, you're going to Valencia. I think somebody must have died or something. Um, and then Valencia. Double check the public order here. Is fine. Minus eight. That's a bit of an issue. Just causing it so bad here. Just the difficulty level, really. Religion, taxes, political situation. Yeah, it's mostly the, the difficulty. This will help out. What's the sanitation? Five. We might, uh, we might have to switch this over to. One of the other, maybe maybe we'll put an order priory here too. Might do that just for the little additional public order because it doesn't seem that with Toulouse here, Toulouse has as a physician here. I think sanitation will be fine here. By the looks of things, total sanitation is five. So switching this over, we'd lose two sanitation. It's not a huge deal, plus we've still got this to upgrade. So I think that might be a bad, not a bad idea. I don't know, I'm not 
crazy about these Catholic churches. Because of that maintenance cost of 600. Goodness gracious. I, I think I'd prefer these military priorities. Military order unit cap plus one. Yeah, that's something that was pointed out to me by uh, USV. And uh, I, I didn't realize that. That's that your the amount of military order units. So I guess these these guys maybe. So it is capped based on how many of those military orders you've built. So building some more of those wouldn't be a bad idea. Well, we'll switch over to that next turn. In the meantime, let's put in some public order bonus here, I guess. Yeah. Looks good. So they probably won't have to move back up there. We should, we should get that under control. I don't think there's anything else. Is there anybody that I've left that I haven't moved? What do you uh, these guys, we don't really need to move. One there. This one. So we're getting, getting a rebellion down there. Here we're at one. Is the... Oh, son of a... Son of a gun. The, uh, the plague is gone. We're minus two, but I think that'll sort it out. So that's that's good, and yeah, getting this too. Well, yeah, sanitation should be under control in these two provinces, so we shouldn't have to worry about the plague anymore. And actually, let's move you over to this province for now. So that puts it at minus one there, but it gets us to minus two here, and then we can deploy him next turn and get it in the positive. So this guy going bumping back between these two provinces should keep it under control. And then these two garrisons should be able to manage these provinces. But having these priests over here, it looks like we're, we're slowly wrestling it under control. So, looks good. I mean, we might even be in a position soon where we can actually expand into this territory. So we might not have to tear it down, but I don't know. I kind of, kind of want to burn it down and that gives us a nice buffer. Uh, we've got our allies here in Algiers, and then we'll have a nice buffer between us and our enemies. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, rambling and jambling here a little bit too much. Let's just uh, hit the end turn and carry on. should be honored that I make such an offer Page in the name of a noble people. 47. Okay. They're, uh, that, this looks like a, they're offering to marry her to our king? Oh, wait, their king is Andrew. I mean, she's 47. So... What do we got with them? Defensive Alliance. Go. Alright. This is also something that uh, Mr. Zaid had mentioned that we can make some of these guys my our, our vassal. And they'll pay us every turn, which is freaking brilliant. I didn't, I, I didn't even think of that. Never had vassals before. I didn't know how, how they worked, but yeah. Come there is much on, honor man. in accepting this offer, for it is fair and just, like all Roman ideas. Roman ideas, eh? We are not a friend for the new Goodness. moon and an enemy in the old. Come. These guys are real Can hagglers here. Openly. Uh, arranged marriage. She's 58. My goodness. How about Edith? She's 58. <laughs> How about you have Edith instead? Make Vassal and let's try for 900. 1200, they don't want to do it. Let's. How about 
really haggling it out here, but <laughs> anyway, let's try 1100. Beauty, beauty. Nice doing business with you, buddy. Yeah, we'll start trying to to get some vassals out of these guys. Let's see if that helps our income a little bit. I guess once you become have a vassal that you no longer need like defensive and military alliance. It's I guess it's the same as having a military alliance, but they they actually pay you as well. I bring word. No way, man. We just we just started this war, man. We're just getting started. We're gonna finish you off. Peace treaty, Marinid Sultanate. Come on. It's only been one turn, and you guys are crying for peace already. We only took one settlement, one itty bitty settlement. What are you guys afraid of? The AI doesn't seem super aggressive either in this mod necessarily, that they seem to be content staying in their little isolated pockets. As far as I can tell so far, though I would imagine though every playthrough is going to have a very different feel to it. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm excited to explore more of this mod and play maybe some of the Sultanates at some point as well. I think that would be a lot of fun. But uh, there's tons of factions that you can try out. I mean, some of the, like, I'm looking around in some of them. And it looks like some of the building trees and stuff like that for your infrastructure are very similar. But still, like, unit types and everything, just you, you got, like, a lot of different flavor with some of these different factions and stuff, so. Definitely worth checking out, I think. If you haven't checked out Medieval Kingdoms and you're, you know, a little bit of a fan of Attila, if you got Attila sitting there, if you want to dust it off and download this mod, whew, definitely worth your time. I think so, anyway. And it, it just keeps getting better too. They keep uh, keep tweaking it, adding to it. Pay them off. Uh, political option. Political favors. Okay. All right. So for some kung fu fighting here. Yeah, I'm gonna try and manipulate them and see if we can get more agents than we're supposed to have to. I know it, like in Rome 2 it used to be the case that you could get more but uh, it was patched. I, but sometimes things that were patched in Rome 2 were never patched. Critical, yeah, critical success. So there, there you have it. We've got this guy and we're only supposed to have if we can bring it up here. Okay. Can we recruit the agents from here? Yeah, we're only supposed to have two of them and now we have three. So... There you go, beauty. Like the the good old days of uh, Rome too. All right, you come out and encamp, and let's see if we can. Okay, actually, we want. Uh, shoot, we're not going to be able to force march. Shoot. Oh well, that's okay. Well, we'll still be able to cover quite a bit of ground here. Transfer these guys over. So if we put him in force march, transfer these guys over. On the move. So it brings everyone down to zero movement. Now, when we go back into regular stance, well, those units we transferred over, it's as if they didn't move. Um, however, if I go into if I go into force march, then we'll be limited to what the movement of those units we just transferred over but the game doesn't realize for whatever reason that um, 
those units we just transferred over had moved in force march it's putting them in this regular stance gives us the full their full movement of regular stance uh, which is uh, pretty pretty cool. cool so you guys just stay there so you're beside the settlement and just in case uh, these guys decide to attack you I'm sure you can handle yourselves but uh, being beside our allies here won't hurt and then um, you'll actually which means you guys can stay inside the settlement for another turn and we're gonna get uh, two turns and we get the rebellion demolish all of this of this and keep this because we want to upgrade want to upgrade the Knights and then you sir give you Spire pot for this cool that's not super crucial at the moment I guess we'll give you that so we're not really using you as a foreign agent so we want to get rid of them take care of that in one moment minus one minus one so it's not too bad here how did the public order okay so public order is back back in business here if we tax the province it's bad so we gotta wait for this to be built before we can turn the taxes back on here unfortunately and then probably try and get this to level four as well all right so where else do we want to build i think in light of i think maybe we'll build some more food buildings Let's take a look at uh, what we've got going on in England. We've got a little bit of cash to work with here since we're demolishing all of that stuff down there. Actually, this is a little bit of a concern here. We'll get that upgraded. All right, so we're going to convert this to a military order priory. Let's upgrade the food. Um, leave that. Upgrade that. I um, wouldn't mind upgrading the fishing docks as well. But it should be fine. Everything. These two are good for now. I think we can leave it. Food at 40. Yeah, we'll just leave that for now. Since it's okay. But let's, uh, let's get things managed over here in England first. Because we're a little bit. At the priory. Mm -hmm. So that should sort out the public order there, but I guess it wouldn't hurt to build another, another one of those. Squalor is bad here. Minus one. Alright, let's upgrade this first and then we'll go with that next. And in London, let's keep demolishing that. Does include the public order. Consumes more food though. Alright, I think this is good for now. I think I'm gonna save that little bit of coin. Until next turn. Right, just in case we've got some more important building to do. Down here, it's not as crucial because we've got armies down here to sort out rebellions. I hope we don't have to fight this manually. I hope we can auto resolve this. I don't want to. I don't want to bore you guys to death with these these rebellion fights. 
Probably should fight it to try and steal that artillery piece, but... Plus, dude, the balance of power is not great. We're gonna take a fair bit of damage here. Well, we should have enough time to recover before the next rebellion. Plus, we've got a second army. That's, uh... Coming around. At once. Uh, that'll be ready to help help with this situation. At your command. But yeah, I feel like we've fought enough of those rebel battles now that we can kind of, what do you wish of me? We kind of just auto resolve them and just try and move through this a little bit more quickly. All right, so you, sir, you're gonna come back here and we'll have you recruit some some crusaders I think to help support in the uh, maybe put a half stack together and he can help support the, uh, the fight against uh, against Egypt so I'm just keeping this guy here uh, I want to get them fully replenished moving through the desert is, is taking its toll and we're gonna move through this territory, so we'll move through it slowly. But I also want to get him linked up with the, with the, with, with the calf here. And, and plus two, there's gonna be a rebellion here, so we'll we'll sort out the rebellion as we're demolishing this this province. I think that's all we're gonna do for this turn. Alan is a uh, science skill. Alan is a governor. Is the king. Uh, tax rate, probably a good idea. And construction. Would, uh, let's give him personal influence as well. Actually, let's let's just give him personal influence for now. Since he is the king, he should be really bringing in the influence. This guy is a governor as well. Let's go down towards tax rate. All right, cool. I mean, I may be forgetting things here and there, but I'm just kind of in the mind. Yeah. You know, speaking of which, <laughs> some spies that didn't uh, didn't get movement. Um. Yeah, I'm just trying to to move things along and, and wrap things up with this crusade. I really want to attempt this same campaign as England with the, uh, the this is total war. Uh, challenge in effect so that as soon as this is finished that's what we're gonna start working on so uh, should be a much more exciting start than the start to this campaign and um, yeah it should be tons of action it should be a real challenge uh, for me I've never done a this is total war campaign but this particular campaign looks like it would be somewhat manageable for this is total war just because of the way that the provinces are just one single settlement and the provinces are all walled i think um, that that very fact will make it a little bit more manageable also uh, the ability to raise territory um, super super valuable uh, in a this is total war campaign because we'll be able to we'll be able to to sort of mold the campaign terrain to our advantage by, by creating, you know, these uh, these desolate areas around our, our main settlements, where the the AI will have to cross through these desolate areas, and in, in order to get to our territory. So I think I think that's. One of the one of the things I love about the Attila map is is them adding that feature uh, when when they're introducing sort of this idea of survival warfare and adding this feature where you could actually raise settlements to the ground. I think it introduced a new dynamic as far as like strategy in uh, in, in a campaign setting is concerned, which uh, I, I think is missing most definitely from from a game like Rome Two. But yeah, I think because of those factors that you've got walled settlements, that each province is just one single settlement, and the fact that you can you can raise territory across the map really should should uh, make this campaign somewhat manageable in a this is total war scenario. And then on top of that too, it doesn't seem like the AI is super aggressive and gets like 
a ton of those cheats and stuff. I think they're working with a lot of the same restrictions as the player is, which means that they 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 don't necessarily have that overwhelming advantage against you. So I am commanded to speak in the name of my people. Um Heed then most carefully. Is there proposal. anything else that you uh, might want to do? Oh, oh, la la, another vassal. Another vassal for us. Look at this. And they're gonna pay us. They're gonna pay us quite handsomely. Beauty. Nice doing business for you. That's another vassal for us. Beauty. Yeah, and the, the other thing is, too, England is in a relatively good position, starting position. I mean, they've got the Irish and the Scottish and the Welsh at their backs, but if we can, if we can sort them out in a reasonable amount of time, then that's going to, we're going to be camped out there in the corner, and it'll give us time to sort of uh, prepare for and take on the rest of the uh, the rest of the, the uh, factions so um, being somewhat isolated is always a good thing in a this is total war campaign like the last thing you want in a this is total war campaign is be in the middle of everything where you've got all of these you're surrounded by enemies and you're surrounded by a ton of enemies Maybe persuade in case somebody shows up here that we can scoop. Commander. Okay. Oh, actually, let's give you some uh, some swag. Oh, we want to put some archers in his army, so I'll give you that. And. Plus two integrity sounds good. That additional armor for the commander's unit's okay. Plus ten morale for the camp commander's unit's good too. But I think we'll give you a cook. That extra integrity is helpful, and he leveled up as well. Yield plus two is pretty good. I want to move towards campaign movement. Reducing the recruitment cost is good as well. Yeah, the recruitment of troops in this is a little bit expensive. Alright, so if we deploy you, it gets it in the positive. Beautiful. And actually, force march you into there. Let's have you come down to Fez, and you'll be able to help with the rebellion when it happens here to Marrakesh. Tons of money to work with. Let's, uh, well, it's not tons. <laughs> 30,000 does not go very far in these, these, uh, these campaigns. As, let's actually take a look at what we've got going on in England first. Things are good here. Hopefully, that sorts out our food issue. Crusaders are making their way. Slowly getting there. Alright, so what do we have? We've got an iron mine. Sweet daddy. Look at that. That'll definitely help out with the trade. That should boost our income up a little bit. And the income's starting to look a little bit more respectable. It's boosted up. That probably the help of those those um those vassals are probably helping out. All right, so sanitation, bumping that up would be enough to. All right, definitely upgrade that. That'll help with the public order. Okay. Uh, this helps with sanitation too, but. We bump up the sanitation here and here. That'll help as well. And 
London Public Order. Probably upgrade this. Can we afford it food wise? I think so. Um well, let's upgrade this too. Just wanna make sure London, the public order is good. We don't have armies here. Uh, we're not at capacity though, so we could always recruit someone, but we don't want to have to do that if we don't have to. And I think it's slowly working out here in Bordeaux. Son of a gun, how do we have plague here? How do we have plague in Mont Montpellier? Freaking, I, I swear that the sanitation is good here. We've got a priory, we've got a physician. How in the blazes did they get plague? Must be, must be our neighbors bringing it over here or something. I don't know. It must, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I guess maybe I wasn't being as careful as I thought I was with the sanitation. Sugar and spice here. Man, Valencia, our sanitation. You know what? We're gonna have to switch this to. Um, to a monastery for the additional sanitation. But we'll have to find somewhere else to do uh priest, but we'll we'll convert that next turn, I guess. So we're out of cash. Try not to forget. Alright. Well the order's good there, so the rebellion coming there. Not sure if he'll have enough movement. He should have enough movement. Uh, we can always force march him as well. Alright. What do we have going on? Alright, boys. Move that way. I am yours to command. Pretty banged up. We can shadow this army, maybe we can do some damage to them. And let's just keep scouting ahead a bit. Let's keep going because we've got more enemies over here. This is desolate here too. them for the experience. Alright. You out. Camp. Almost back to full strength. Should be able to get them back to full strength by the time we, uh, we get into our next conflict. conflict. And let's upgrade all these guys. Beautiful. And now we can, we can demolish this. And then once we demolish these buildings, then we raise this to the ground. This is not something that I, I necessarily advocate for, but we're trying to achieve the goal of the crusade. And uh, this will give us a buffer between us and our enemies and just managing, managing these, the public order in these four settlements right now seems to be more than enough. Um, I mean, we can always start populating Biskra and moving across after public order is sorted here and then that way we can these two garrison armies they can sort of make their way across Africa but I mean um, smashing these buildings and reinvesting it back into our our foundation uh, settlements I, I think is the way to go in this particular situation so um, Demolishing and raising a settlement is not something I necessarily would, would do under normal circumstances, but in this circumstance, we'll make it work for us, and I, I think it uh, provides some, some value for us. But yeah, I didn't realize this guy was here. Bring somebody back to get rid of him. All right, I think... Oh, we've got a sixth governor. Where do we need a governor? Um, 
Huh. I think we probably could use one in Bordeaux. Come to think of it. York, we should be able to sort on its own. Let's put a governor in Bordeaux. I believe there's one there. Nope. And is there any candidates here in the royal family that we could use? Doesn't look like it. That we can't use. Gosh, this family is massive now. It's people that need to be married. All right, he's a defender. He's supply as a leader uh, I'm just gonna go with Robert here sometimes when you pass them over they get jaded actually I'm gonna go with Hubert sorry Robert I use you in a special situation Hubert is younger he's the youngest so we're gonna put you in Bordeaux Take a look. Six out of ten, that's okay. And I'll give you that. Not that you should ever need it. Decorated sword. Construction time. What, uh, oh. Is it commerce that we've got in, in Bordeaux? I mean, we could. Let's go public order for now. This commerce, wine production, from agriculture, not commerce. It's just agriculture that we've got here. Um. We go tax rate, or we could go additional public order. We'll give him a judge. Meeny money mo. Let's give him a judge. That public order, just just get that public order sorted out. We don't need any any rebellions anywhere really. Prefer to avoid that. I think that's everything. If I'm not mistaken. Which Guys, stay in foot. Yeah, should be good. I respectfully request that we cooperate fully in opposing our men. Yeah, why not? Hell yeah. Military allies. Now we can give you guys orders. Sort of. And give them targets. Look at this. Man. Allies coming over here, helping us out. Bunch of gentlemen. I do say so myself. job boys yeah let's take that replenishment that will allow us to get on the move straight away I think provided that another rebellion doesn't pop up there which I don't think it will I mean, we could always leave the cavalry behind and have the main force start start ahead because the cavalry should be able to catch up so I might do that because the thing is we don't want to don't want to raise the settlement like do do the action to raise the settlement and then have there be a rebellion which takes the settlement before we're able to actually raise it that would be I'm not sure the mechanics of the turn order in that situation but we want to be careful to make sure that um, we actually do get to raise the settlement and that we don't have like a, a rebel army sitting in there 
um, at, as we we're sort of pushing forward to uh, deeper into Africa. Very much looking forward to seeing this uh, Crusader army on the on the battlefield, though. Want to see those fancy Hospitaller and Templar unit models. So one thing the end turns are a little bit long in this but I mean I think it's to be expected with so many factions and the the game I don't think was necessarily optimized for this kind of thing I mean I know I mentioned a couple times before but Attila in general has not been really well optimized and And uh, like Warhammer 2, Mortal Empires, the Creative Assembly has worked really hard to get those turn times down. I speak with the voice of my people. You should oh, carefully what's consider this. What's this? this? We're gonna get another. Oh, come on, man! Oh, look at this. Go oh, 3,500. Beauty. Another vassal. Yeah, I can't be bothered to go in and actually negotiate like a bunch of vassals. If they offer some diplomacy to us, I'm more than happy to oblige and uh, try and get them into a vassal situation. I propose, or rather ask for, a treaty Marinade. to combine our forces guys? with your considerable strength. Baron the Defenders. Where are these guys? Do we have any? We don't have. They're at war with. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't think that we should. I mean, it's tempting to do that. I just don't want to get into any kind of like our allies might not like the Marinid pretenders. But the Marinid must have had a, a rebellion there or something, and uh, caused them to be to be out there. All right, so sir, I'm over here. Or is it three, five, Ready for orders. I think he's just out of range. Yeah, looks like it. So we have to force battle. march, brother. Get moving, you wretches! Would that I were as swift as the angels. March. Oh, thought we were gonna get a crash there. That game lagged. Advance. Ah! Out of range. Anyway, this guy can handle it, but... This guy's coming in with a little bit of experience, a little bit of chevrons. Good job, man. Killed them good. Real good. Take the replenishment sensor. Pretty bad beating there. We hunger for battle. Pop you back in there. Ready for and orders. we want. Give you a little extra integrity. At your command. Guys are both deployed, right? Let's double check. Salutations. 
give me that. It's fine. Ready for battle. Okay, so we do have the military priory now. Commander. Let's see what we got available. Ooh yeah. Ooh yeah. Knights Templar. Knights Fiddlers. And Ritterbruder. Ritterbruder? <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. And I'm pretty sure I'm butchering it. Um so what do we get? We've got Ritterbruder and Templar Knights. Ready for battle. Why don't we get the hospitaler knights of these guys? Come fight with us! Not as good. They look pretty much the exact same. The stats of all these guys look the same. <laughs> oh wait, no. Melee damage is lower on on the English knights. These these guys and they're oh, okay. The Ritter Bruder have higher charge bonus. Yeah, the Ritter Bruder have the highest charge bonus. So let's we need good fighters. Is that oh we can only get one of them. We we'll recruit that for The army. Um, now let's it pick up some hospitalers. Since we people. don't have any. Three turns. Three turns. At your command. All right, that'll be cool. Um, I'm kind of thinking, actually, let's hire Robert here, we hunger for battle. and let's recruit some longbows as well Sign up, while we're at it, good and, and um, maybe reorganize the army when it comes down. Commander. In fact, I'm kind of thinking. All right, you know what? Let's cancel these for now and recruit. What do we got in here? Founded hospitals and some templars. So let's get one of those and one of those, and then maybe we'll we'll do a similar thing where. We have the land forces in, in the main army, and then we'll have a supporting cavalry army. Commander. Perhaps. At your command. We'll see if they're ready by the time it gets down there. Yeah, well, that should work out pretty good. And then we'll we'll probably probably travel by land the rest of the way because it's a little bit more dangerous to travel by sea, I think. Salve. see it done by any means. Did they get him? Got him. Shoot, I should be should be trying to Rebel Army. Oh. Yeah, see there's the Marinid Pretenders. What level is this guy? Level two. Two. All right, yeah. Try and assassinate one of them. Why not? It's okay. There's a guy over here. I don't have enough movement. It's okay. All right, so we we'll demolish this, and yeah, let's raise this. Raise it to the ground. Um. Turn taxes off here. That doesn't make a difference. Anyway, uh, cavalry will leave you behind for now, just to make sure that the rebel force doesn't end up raising the settlement. But I think we make our way to it's either Tunis or 
Medin in. It'd be better to mop these guys up before before we had to. It's always tricky in in a in this. See, it looks okay right there. If I move there, it looks like we've still got fifty percent, but we might not. So I just do it so that there's a little bit of movement left. Shoot, and I think oh that was, that was close. Now we just want to make sure we can get into encampment so that we can keep the army at full strength because moving across the desert here, suffering a ton of attrition, and um, yeah, we're. we're Especially on these uh, these artillery units, so want to try and stay at full strength again. Ready for orders. And yeah, the cavalry should be able to catch up without too much difficulty. All right, now what are we gonna build here? Where were there was somewhere where I wanted to. Had some sanitation issues. Where was that? That that was uh, right, Valencia. So let's convert this to the Catholic monastery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And can we tax this again? Minus one. Son of a gun. We gotta we gotta wait. Upgrade that. Ready for battle. What do you wish of me? It's just this province that's in the negative now here. So that's good. Moved you guys, yeah. And that should these buildings should sort out the public order here. Or this building should sort out the public order. It might not be a bad idea to upgrade this, actually. That should help with Nottingham as well. With the sanitation situation here. Because we'll want to take advantage, we'll want to get some of this other stuff built up too. Getting the salt trader built would be helpful. And I think that should sort the public order. We'll want to build this too. Then, I mean, eventually, I'd really love to be able to bump the taxes up. Would love that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Thomas? Okay, he's a marshal. Jeffrey's a marshal. Jeffrey's a marshal. He there. It's not enough influence yet. And Robert. Robert is a general. Let's make you a Castilian. And then somebody over here needs to be married. Is that right? Uh, he can't be married yet. It doesn't have enough influence. One influence. This guy can be married, so let's seek a wife for you. Oh. Right, so, and then, or somebody will offer, somebody will probably offer to marry her, so we'll just wait. She's not, uh, minus one authority, that's not too bad. Plus one zeal is pretty good. Alright, looks good. Kind of science, you know, Randolph is a governor. Okay, that sounds good. And public order. That sounds good as well. How are we doing? We're just coming up to the hour mark, so uh, let me see if uh, it doesn't look like we're gonna get a battle in this episode, guys. I apologize. Shoot, I keep forgetting about those spies. That's okay. They're way out front of the armies right now anyway, so the intel that we need them to gather is, uh, I mean, they're in the right positions anyway. But yeah, we, we should be getting some battles, at least one battle next turn. We'll be moving a little bit more quickly now, I think, now that we've got things organized. And with the Crusader army, 
coming around the corner there, or around the bend of uh, Iberia, around the coast of Iberia, that uh, oh, this sort of uh, push towards Egypt should be should be made a little bit a little bit quicker with uh, with two armies in operation down there. And now that now that the cavalry is caught up to the prince's army, that that should speed things along as well. I think as we'll be able to take settlements and we'll be able to leave the cavalry behind to to um, just hold it while we demolish everything and then the uh, the prince's army can continue continue moving on to the next settlement and then the cavalry should be able to should be able to catch up without too much difficulty so we'll just try and mop up some of this stuff here in Northern Africa. Shoot, we're, we're gonna have to go for Quasentria there. But yeah, a little bit of a quieter episode, but I feel like we got some good work in. And yeah, it looks like the series is probably gonna go to about 25 episodes. It's ah, hard to say, but I don't know. I'm trying to keep it at 20, but I think it could would stretch to 25 getting to Egypt as I mean yeah an hour you can't really get a lot done in an hour and sometimes the sieges themselves can take upwards of an hour and we've got a handful sorry guys bump the mic we've got a handful of, uh, of sieges we're gonna have to do on our way over there and I mean, unless we unless we use auto resolve for that, then it is gonna take a little while. Plus, each one of these turns takes Give a little bit of time. Ah, what did I say? Somebody would offer offer to marry her. In your wisdom, to my words. The Tunisian pretenders. I don't think we should negotiate with them. Any of the pretenders? I think probably it's gonna upset someone else. <laughs> Not to mention, too, the turn times do take a fair bit of time, which adds to the amount of time it takes to uh, to get through one of these uh, one of these episodes. Another new pope, another one. Religious request: Assassin following Umar, Catholic Christian support. Who is Umar? I don't know. Anyway, guys, unfortunately. Oh God. Oh my goodness. Thought we were gonna have a crash again. Uh and mm, yeah, okay. It's just got the same characteristics as as her as the person in her family though. That's weird. The same person that I <laughs> yikes. Yikes, I think that it's sister. Alright, anyway guys. We are uh, well, we're out of time here, unfortunately. I don't want to stretch things too much beyond an hour, uh, like I did the last time. But uh, we'll definitely get some battles in next next part. I will be heading towards Quisantia here, so in the next Ready turn or two, we should be laying siege there, and it should looks like it's going to be decent size siege. They got an army in there, and they've got ooh la la so. Got our work cut out for us th ourselves there. So our allies might wear them down a bit, but we got some big battles coming up, and this is all uh, been raised to the ground. So yeah, thank you once again for watching, and thank you so much, guys, for the continued support of the series. And I will see you next time in uh, 1212 AD. Have a great day, Ragnarok out.